Centrifugal force 2. Consider a system of coordinate axes attached to a stationary railway platform. The train is said to be relative to the stationary platform. The system of imaginary coordinate axes attached to such a stationary platform is called an inertial frame of reference. Now, consider two trains moving with the same uniform velocity adjacent to each other. An observer sitting on one of the trains will not be able to detect the motion of the other train, so an imaginary coordinate system attached to one of the trains will behave identical to the one attached to the stationary platform. Newton's laws can be safely applied even in such a frame of reference with uniform motion. An imaginary coordinate system which is either at rest or in uniform motion and where Newton's laws are valid is called an inertial frame of reference. With this background, let's come back to the observation of the wooden block on the rotating platform. The radially outward force, that is centrifugal force, acting on the block, according to the observer, is a real force only in his own rotating frame of reference. However, for an observer standing outside the rotating platform, this centrifugal force is a pseudo-force. So, centrifugal force is a pseudo-force in an inertial frame of reference because it cannot be associated with any object or agent. So, it is also known as a fictitious force. The radially outward force on a body in a uniform circular motion, observing only in a rotating frame of reference, is called centrifugal force. Both centrifugal and centripetal forces depend on mass m, tangential speed v, and radius r of the circle. They are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So the magnitude of centrifugal force is equal to mv squared by r, which is equal to mr omega squared. Note that both centripetal force and centrifugal force act on the same rotating body. Therefore, they do not form action, reaction pair, in the sense of Newton's third law. Pseudoforce, such as the centrifugal force, appears only in accelerated or non-inertial frames of reference. Therefore, all the effects observed in an inertial frame of reference, in the case of centripetal force, must be attributed only to the reactions due to inertia. For example, when a running car takes a sudden left turn, a man sitting in the back seat falls to the right due to inertia of the direction. Centrifugal force is defined as a force developed in a rotating body, because of which the body tends to move away from the center along the radius. The centrifugal force also acts normal to the direction of motion of the body, but radially outward away from the center along the radius.